Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the tutorial. In this video, I am going to talk about path. Path is having attribute points that will be holding x, y coordinate. So to define path, you need to know some terms. So let's first start with m. m is move to. So when you are going to start a line, then you first write m that you need to move to that particular point and then l l is line 2 that you need to make a line to that point you need x and y coordinate for that you need to define two terms two values for that next is horizontal line it will create a horizontal line v is for vertical c is for curve S is for smooth curve, Q is quadratic, so you need four points for that. So you need to define four coordinates and T is having smooth. Then A is for elliptical arc and Z is for close path. If you define any path, then you need to close it. So for that, at last, you need to define Z. Now let's start by creating a line. First write SVG, then give width 400 and height 300. Then write path, give D. Now first I want point at 150, 0. So I will write first M, 150, 0. Then I want a line to a point. So I will write L. And I want that to be 75 and 200. So I will write that. Then I want again a line. So I will write again L 225 and 200. And I will close the path by writing Z. Close the SVG tag. Save. Open the browser. Refresh. Now you can see I created a triangle. Now let's fill the triangle with none. And then write stroke view. And write stroke with 3. Then save and refresh the browser. Then let's create a nether path. So remove. I just need two points. So copy and paste. Change this point to 275 and 200. Save and refresh. I need this shape like outer A so I will change this to 150 to 0 and there you can see yeah it's like a, a then I need to create another part for the inside A then write 100 and this point 215 and 200 no let's say 100 so refresh there you can see now A is created. So let's create a quadratic curve. So first write M 75 and 210. Then write Q. Let's write 75 to 10. Then 200 and then 0. Fill with none. Then write stroke. Blue stroke width. 3 open yeah refresh there you can see it's downward so we need negative 1 so let's say minus 2 1 0 now you can see it's from upward and also write minus 10 and 180 I want to meet the ends of both so let's say 170 and change the color of this stock green. Uh, it's got inside. Now let's change one 175. Now let's highlight the corner points for that. You need circle. So let's write G stock black. Then stock width. Let's say three. Fill with black color. Close the tag, then write circle. Give CX and CY value. You need to give CX and CY value the corner points that you have, you know, created a point. 
let's say first we will get zy and c zero then let's give r three we need three circles to copy and paste and second point we need 75 and 210 and third point we need is 250 and 200 so save and open the browser there you can see three points so i need to shift the first point to a little bit in y direction so i changed the that to 10 10 yeah there you can see the exact point now now let's add text so light g fill it with black color and i don't need any stock so let's write stock none then write text write a i'm writing for the left bottom so x value will be 75 and y will be 200 save and refresh there you can see a a we need to change the x coordinate as it coming on the line so let's change it to 50 and then copy and paste as we need the another label for the point so let's write value um, for x we write let's say 265 and save refresh we need to change the text let's change it to c yes then again write text for the top point so for that x we need is let's say 130 and write by 0 and also change the text that's i need to change text yeah b so refresh i need to shift that in y direction so let's say 15 refresh now it's showing that's how you create a path thank you so much for watching